Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol DCGD. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So, all this here may look like several days worth of time. It's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like you this time. Frampton does a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out where levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Did this analysis on Friday, so that is where the red and green line annotations are coming from. And as I talked about on Friday, you know, the price was sitting right up around this key area of resistance at 80 cents. And unfortunately today, uh, you know, after a, a temporary break above it, that first 30 minutes, the bulls could not maintain themselves and back down the price went. Uh, so that level up there at 80 cents still gonna be, you know, public enemy number one as far as resistance is concerned. And while the price did, you know, move downwards, from the open, it's not like the overall chart is totally destroyed. Now, yeah, today in and of itself was a bearish day, but that's looking at one day, looking at multiple days, the price is still well within the overall channel, which I've talked about several times here now, you know, which is, you know, this range right here. So would it be shocking to see the price potentially drop down there and retest the bottom of the channel? No, that wouldn't be shocking at all. No such thing as a guarantee though, so that may not happen. My point is that's not exactly some sort of gutsy call on my part to say that the price very well could head down to 60 cents. Uh, that's just, uh, you know, looking at the chart there, like I said, anybody that uses charts would say, yeah, that, that's kind of an obvious statement to make that it very well could do that. Because as of right now, the, the pattern has been just back and forth back and forth back and forth so we'll see if you know it works its way back down there but point here being that even if the price does pull back more from where it is right now that doesn't mean that the entire chart's destroyed by any stretch uh, because as i've shown in time and time again in past videos when you look at the chart from a, a bigger picture viewpoint yeah right now the, the chart's a little sloppy up around this area but here's the last time it got sloppy down around here and you know I, very clearly you know, this area is higher than this area. And that's what you want to see. You just want to see the quote unquote sloppy areas just keep getting higher and higher. And as long as that's the case, that implies the overall trend is bullish and that is the name of the game. So yeah, today, again, in and of itself, just looking at one day, a bearish day. Looking at many days, as you see here, the overall chart, still plenty bullish. So we'll see if the bulls can chip away and eventually get up above 80 cents or not. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm gonna to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.